Shall we talk about the five tips to make a perfect pizza with the Unicaro 12? Come on, let's get cooking. So tip number one, we start with what fuel we're gonna be using for making this pizza. And while the Unicaro 12 is the dual fuel, so you can use both gas and uh, wood, usually when it comes to wood, you use a mixture between coal and wood. I really think for maximum consistency, and especially if you need to feed a bunch of people, today we are eight, you gotta go with gas. So propane tank, attached and ready turn it on and before we switch it on let's talk about the stone i suggest never to clean the stone by yourself because technically the stones is self-cleaning so take the bit which is the most dirty in this case it's pretty clean but anyway assume like this is the most dirty and you put this at the back because when the pizza oven is going to go into temperature it's going to burn away all the debris and then that's basically cleaned Moving into tip number two is the temperature. In order to cook the pizza the right way, you need to get to the right temperature. New Neapolitan pizza cooks at a very high temperature, about 400 degrees Celsius. Ooh, need to burn myself. All right, that's why you need a thermometer. And the pizza oven is at 360, 380, 340. So a few more minutes and it's ready. And while we wait for that to go to temperature, let's talk about tip number three, and that's having a good dough recipe. Uh, I'm not going to do the dough right now because I've done a video already on it and I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check out the recipe. We already made it. Let me show you. Little sneak peek. Here are the pizza bolts. And tip number four, this is probably the most important one of the lot and it's using semola flour. Semola is the biggest friend for pizza. So we make a nice big mountain of semola here. Okay, it's a bit windy, we're making a bit of mess, but that's okay. Pizza directly on the similar. And by the way, Get Cooking Italia teamed up with an amazing designer from Glasgow, Megan Park, and we made these super cool t-shirts. All of them are themed around food. We got this one about pizza pie till I die. We got one about pasta. So if you wanna buy them, support the channel, support Megan Park as an artist, well, they are also down in the description. Best t-shirt for the summer, of course. All right, so when we get the semola here, one side, the other, and we use the semola to stretch the pizza. So semola comes in. And we're gonna keep the air and the cornicione here on the side. Of course, it depends on the style. I come from Rome. Technically, we would have flattened all of this out, but I know now people like the Napolitan style, which is where you keep this cornicione at the top. So we'll do that this time. I'm probably gonna make the second one more Roman style, but we'll see how we go. Once you stretch it, this is important. You move away the similar because the similar burns when you cook it. So you want to get kind of get rid of it and you want the one that you've used to just get it absorbed by your pizza. And bonus tip, I don't know if it's a sad tip or not, but the first pizza is always a little bit sacrificed because I don't know, it just never works out. But I've got a solution for you and let me show it. Olive oil. We spread it like this. Cut in half. A bit of olive oil here. Let's check the temperature. Oof. 400, 420, so perfect for a pizza. Pizza in our peel. Go in. And we close it. Out it comes. And this is going to be amazing filled. So check out inside. <laughs> We're going to put some smoked scamorza. I'm going to close it. Just, this goes in just for one second. In it goes. And out it goes. We're going to be adding rucola. And then we're going to have a mix of lombetto. This is something that I'm sure you've not had before. And some prosciutto from Umbria. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. It's delicious. 
a little bit of extra virgin olive oil from Pasta della Palomba. And what is supposed to be a sacrificial piece of pizza, we turn it into something quite delicious. And for the first pizza, we're gonna add tomato. Again, this is super simple, just normal canned tomato. We blended it, extra virgin olive oil, some basil leaves and salt. Parmigiano, guys, you gotta put Parmigiano on it. It's not only mozzarella. Mozzarella, ideally fior di latte. You got bubbles you gotta break them otherwise these are gonna burn final stretch on the peel and this goes in fifth and final tip you must have a turning peel this allows you to take your pizza and turn it without taking it out maintaining the temperature in the pizza as it cooks and at the beginning it's a little bit of a pain to use this but once you get the hang of turning it it's just gonna make your pizza that much better and after about 90 seconds our pizza is ready nice and cheesy and this gets finished with some extra virgin olive oil at the top a few leaves of basil oh it's so windy <laughs> It's so windy to just play out. Super hot still. I love the cheese pool. And at the bottom is perfectly cooked and crunchy, but it's still got nice and airy in here. This one is with Italian salsiccia, smoked provola, mozzarella and here we have some fresh marjoram from the garden very aromatic and this is another of my sister-in-law Ines she's a big fan of the Italian sausage this is the pizza I made then I formed it into a heart shape looks delicious sweetie bon appetit and the last one alla zuzzona which translates kind of like um, the piggy, the excessive, the, you know, over the top one. So we got sausages, smoked scamorza, mozzarella, and salami di Milano. Where is my pizza? <laughs> Your pizza is here, dude. It's coming. So, buon appetito. And these are the five tips that will yield you the best possible result in the Unicaro 12. It's really good.